Oh man, I'm not gonna lie guys, this is making me rather nervous. You can see all coins here moving to the upside. Look at Casper, 15% E-Gold, 37% Neo, 28% here Cake, loads of all coins flying Phantom up, 7.3% but something isn't quite sitting right with me in this video. I'm gonna break down what are the positives, what are the negatives and what we need to be wary of because there's a lot of FOMO in this market right now. There's a lot of people People interested in crypto talking about crypto feeling really positive I mean, look at fear and greed index here sitting at 70 we've not seen levels like this for a sustained period since november 2021 here on the charts so we need to be very very careful i'm going to break down what it is i'm looking for and how i'm going to navigate this FOMO. because guys the first thing we need to understand in crypto is you generally want to do the opposite of what everybody else is in the, doing in the market. For example, in our trading group, ijaz.uk forward slash TG, many people say when the market's pumping, why am I not taking a trade? I'm like, guys, chill. Chill. When people are taking trades, I'm generally looking to take profits on those green candles and I'm waiting for our positions of strength. And it's the same with our long term portfolios. When the markets are feeling like this, why is there anything for me to do? Why is it that I need this market to tell me that now is the time to buy Bitcoin? Why is it that I need to look at a chart like this? And this is the weekly chart with three crazy weeks 10% layer on Bitcoin, 15%. And now this week looking to close another 1.5%. Why is it I need to be buying in the peaks of the FOMO? Look how extended we are from this EMA ribbon. Guys, if you've been following my content for a while, hopefully, I really, really hope that I've managed to connect this through to you guys, that you do not need affirmation from the candles. What has fundamentally changed for Bitcoin over the last couple of weeks? Nothing. It's just lagging what we already knew right? The positives in the macro economy, the fact that inflation is starting to improve, the fact that we are starting to get closer to institutional adoption, closer to a spot ETF, closer to the halving, right? We All things we know, you do not need to wait for this moment to go, you know what? I need to be buying here right at the peaks up here when we're at 35,000, when we're at 35,600, right? Why? Why? Right? You need to be waiting for positions of strength. And I'm going to show you where some of those could lie. But the main thing that has me really, really nervous right now is the following. I need to bring out my messy lines. You have to forgive me, but I need to bring out these lines. Because when Bitcoin started running here, did you see any support? I mean, if we let's jump this down to the daily chart. When Bitcoin decided to here suddenly break through, right? It was sitting here consolidating around 28.5. And then it said, you know what? See you later, mate. And it ran push through 30, push straight through 32, and now knocking on the door of 36. Complete insanity. Now, we know Bitcoin can do this, right? This is the beauty of this asset class. This is why we're investing in this asset class, because it can go on these sustained pumps and keep moving. That's why you're going to get these outsized crazy returns versus stocks and bonds and all that boring stuff, right? We know that. But still, there has to be a resemblance of order. There has to be a bit of common sense that, look, once you have these sustained moves, when are we going to get that pullback? When are we going to get that little bit of a pullback, which will give me comfort? Say, so you know what? This, this is a good solid move. Because whenever you have pumps to the upside, if you don't consolidate or actually retest, what you've not managed to do is create a price floor. What you've shown here with Bitcoin is that we've had an impulsive move. This is an impulsive move. This can happen for a variety of factors, right? FOMO, greed, tourists coming into the market, a bit of positive news, fine, and you get a crazy move to the upside. But that's very different to you moving, retesting 32, which is basically the bear saying, hang on, are you actually worth 32,000 per Bitcoin? And the bull saying, hell yeah, we are, we're gonna push it back up to the upside, right? That's when you create that price floor. That's where you confirm to the market that we are not heading back below 32. But when you just have an impulsive move like this, what goes up quickly can equally come down quickly as well. And that is what's making me uneasy in this market. Now, what does that therefore mean practically? What does that actually mean I'm going to do in terms of my long-term portfolio? What it practically means here is that I am not adding right now. And there's a lot of people, you know, generating FOMO and saying Bitcoin 200,000. That's their job. That's what they do all day has been sensationalist. We're not going to do that here on this channel. What I'm going to show you is that, look, right now, I do not need to be buying in here. Hopefully, you guys saw when I was making content throughout these tough periods, and we were buying at beautiful price points. So there's no reason to me be buying when the Bitcoin price is knocking at 36. No, that's just going to be greed, right? That's just me participating in this number here. I'm not part of that. I want to be buying when things are fearful. And so when Bitcoin eventually decides to call off, if it decides to come down here to 32 or even down to 30, these are the levels I want to be accumulating. I'll start nibbling at 32.6 when we start coming into the EMA ribbon and I'll buy a lot more if we come down to that 30,000. Again, 
No guarantees, but that's why I keep at least 10 to 15%. I think I'm on about 12 point something percent cash on the sidelines here, ready for a dip. I never fully allocate everything. I just keep a little bit of cash on the sidelines, ready for those moments. Because when the market gets fearful, that's when I want to be jumping in. I do not want to be getting in a habit of buying whenever Bitcoin's extended here. Nope, that's not my job. Let other people do that. That's not what we're doing in the community. Now, if you guys want to trade with us, that's our long-term bag. If you want to trade with us, see jars.uk forward slash TG. Jump into our VIP group. Guys, we are having some insane results in there. The kind of results you we're seeing in there is absolutely insane. I'm going to produce an October report, which I'm going to share with you to show you the trades we took in October, which is just going to blow your mind. I mean, from 16, 17 trades we took, only one one hit a stop loss the rest were like hitting tps left right center making crazy spot returns if you guys want to take trading seriously jump into our telegram group you will not regret it and you're really going to start becoming profitable in crypto you're going to see how i set up my trades what chart patterns do i use of course it has risks i only want grown-ups in there that are willing to understand that there's risks involved in trading and you're good with your risk management but i walk you through that i show you how i do my risk management i show you how i make sure that if i lose one i'm not losing too much but if i win it's going to be completely outside versus my losses all of that's important within trading so the other thing we need to talk about which is the elephant in this room is the dollar index right this is a real big positive we touched upon this yesterday the fact that this dollar index is moving to the downside and losing its daily ema ribbon is hugely positive for us now we need to be able to send this dollar index down ideally lose this blue 200 exponential moving average if we can start working our way down here on the dollar index breaking the structure because remember it was in a crazy move to the upside this is going to be good this indicates that risk is slowly rotating on and that is why in the traditional markets last week the week just gone we had the best week we've seen in 2023 the best week right things were ripping palantir affirm various growth stocks were moving to the upside nasdaq 1.4 percent on friday smp another percent right it was really ripping and that is partially because of jerome powell and the fed right jerome powell and the fed if you remember in the summary of economic projections which we covered off they priced in that they could do one more rate hike right they left the option there the optionality for them to do one more rate hike but then they didn't use it in november and now the one final fed meeting of this year is on december the 13th right just over a month from now and the market right now 95 percent of the market is saying you know what they're not going to use it they're not going to use that rate hike. And I agree with them, right? And so it looks like the market is now able to have a little bit of a rally to unwind that extra 25 to 50 basis points that they had priced in that the Fed may have used in November and December. But now the market no longer thinks Jerome Powell's going to need it or use it. We saw the softer jobs report as well. That's a positive. On top of that, we're starting to see, you know, with the Russia-Ukraine conflict as well, we're starting to see that there could be some light at the end of the tunnel in terms of, okay, maybe negotiations will start to call a ceasefire to that as well. And that's going to help markets start to feel a little bit more buoyed. This is why we're seeing risk rotate back on. Now, interestingly, if you look at Bitcoin dominance, look at this, exactly what I said, right? Bitcoin dominance called off just like I said into its EMA ribbon. That also retest the third the 53 sorry level look at that yellow line across there that was our 53 level let me just go up to the weekly so you guys can see that clearly there you go okay so if it wants to retest that level the question is will it now bounce will it bounce from its daily eba ribbon or is it actually going to lose trend in which case we're going to get some crazy altcoin movements i personally think we're going to bounce i think we can get another bitcoin led move once this is retested this ema ribbon and bounce like this arrow is showing so one to watch out for because we are definitely seeing altcoins just go crazy right now right we're seeing i mean if we look here on the chart here bitcoin's flat today right but you've got the likes of xrp up five percent another five percent up here you can see ethereum up 1.74 percent ethereum uh you can see phantom up seven percent big move here on phantom you can see render up 2.3 you can see algorand up 3.7 all coins are really flying right now and this is why i always say guys have your portfolio carefully diversified you gotta have bitcoin ethereum you gotta have your veg for when they're moving and all coins are just going down 90 percent. but at the same time when that money then flows into all coins you want to be in those positioned in those all coins to get those gains as well so guys make sure your portfolio is diversified make sure you're locked and loaded if you believe in any of these all coins if you have conviction what are you waiting for when are you going to get in but of course do not chase the green candles wait for positions of support i mean if we're looking at an example here let's take a look at uh let's use phantom as an example here 
If you wanted to buy in at Phantom, my question to you is, why were you not buying here? I mean, on the 19th of October, which is just two weeks ago, you're buying Phantom here at 17 cents. And now today, people are FOMOing in at 26 cents. I mean, you've doubled your money if you just showed a little bit of conviction and bought during the hard times. And that's exactly what I'm trying to say here, guys, is wait for support. If you didn't manage to buy at the bottoms, that's okay. But don't buy extended. Wait for it to call off into EMA ribbons when it's having a couple of bad days and get into a habit of buying when other other people are fearful when the market's calling off when you see red candles that's when you should generally be pushing the button so there you have it guys if you want to trade with us you just uk forward slash tg if you appreciate these updates even on a sunday you've got to smash up the likes you've got to share this with people you know will find value in it and let's get gearing for this bull market thanks for watching guys and i'll see you in the next one